Now, I've heard about people eating test tube babies, but test tube burgers? That sh cray. By the way, notice how much time I saved by not saying Z at the end. Hey guys, it's me, Noah Galutin, and you haven't heard about those crazy burgers they're making in the lab yet, have you? Well, if you have, I apologize, but we're gonna have a whole video about them anyway. Earlier this month, the world's first laboratory-grown hamburger was both cooked and eaten. Now, this burger was made from cattle stem cells, and it took five years for them to finally complete this Frankenburger. Meanwhile, the Al Frankenburger's actually been around since the 90s, but it's uh, a little dry. To me, the burger meat looks kind of like a ground-up Martian, but it's actually made from 20,000 strands of protein that were made in a lab and then woven together. They also put in some normal burger ingredients like breadcrumbs, salt, and egg powder. As I always make sure to put egg powder in my burger. They also added red beet juice and saffron to the burger for color, which makes me really worried to think about what color it was before they had to dye it. Someone also noted an absence of fat from the burger, which makes sense because it was grown in a f***ing laboratory. They said it tasted close to meat, but was more like an animal protein cake? Which, to be honest, sounds like some kind of thing that we would make up about it and say on this show. According to the scientist behind the test tube burger, the purpose of this invention is to come up with alternate methods of meat production. The business of making meat is very taxing on the environment and also very expensive. Not to mention all those poor, sweet little animals that die so I can eat their delicious, delicious flesh. But this burglar costs over $300,000 to make, so it may not be the most viable plan for building a sustainable future. Also, they probably taste like shit. Even the Dutch scientist admits that we're probably about 20 years out from having these things on the shelves in grocery stores. He also admits that they probably need to improve the flavor if anyone's gonna buy them. To which I respond, yeah, dude, no shit. So the real question is, would you guys eat this burger? Personally, I would try it just out of weird, morbid curiosity, and then we find out that it's doing some weird thing to our organs and turning us all into zombies, at which point I can start living in a zombie apocalypse in which I look, apparently, like Rick from The Walking Dead. I am Noah Galutin, not Rick from The Walking Dead, despite your guys' comments. So watch the food feeder, subscribe, and you can get more videos of me eating food that's even scarier than test tube burgers. Like, you know, McDonald's burgers.